everything you need to know about your life is written in the stars. Like seriously. <laughs> Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla the Nightingale, and today we are talking about stars, horoscopes, woo woo, all the stuff, okay? So today we are talking about the book, who the stars say you are. The author of this book is Sid Robinson. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is new age, okay? So I've always read my horoscope, but I'm a bit of a contrarian, so I always read it the day after so that I'm not influenced by what the horoscope says, right? If you wake up in the morning and you read it, it's like, you're gonna meet the love of your life, you're gonna get a new job, all these opportunities will be presented to you, then you're gonna be out looking for them. And I'm such a tourist that I'm so bullheaded that I read it the day after so that I can't be influenced. <laughs> but I do read it. I think that horoscopes are absolutely fascinating, right? The fact that the day and the month when I was born, the year, me being in the year of the rat, according to the Chinese year, right? Like I read them all. And so that's why I really like this book because for one, it's funny to read. It's really short. There's all these little charts and stuff in here. You know, I burn through it in a day because there's all these little graphs and like little things like, oh, is this me? Is this you? Right? So I read it for myself, Taurus. I read it for my husband. I read it with my daughter in mind for her sign. I also read it with my mom in mind, which is really funny because this is so not her, right? She makes all of her decisions. Nothing influences her. Um, but there were a lot of similarities in the things that that sign does and who my mom is. I read it for my boss. I read it for my favorite coworker. <laughs> who do the stars say they are, right? That's what I wanted to know. So if you are looking for a really cute read, a really fun book, right? What's your favorite kind of ice cream, okay? I would never admit this to anyone else, but I love marshmallows and ice cream especially the mini ones and they get like that cold chewy funky texture well the stars is ice cream Recky road is a taurus so i loved it i absolutely love to read it and it was really cute so if you're looking for something to flip through an astrological guide about you about your neighbor about your coworker, about the guy that you're dating about all the people you should pick this book up it's really fun to look at right and this will definitely be one that i'll need to buy so that i can keep referencing it it was fun to read on a whim but you're gonna always want to refer back to it right when you're getting a new job when you're looking for something else when you're trying to change apartments do you need a south facing window or front facing window does it matter so would i reread this book 100% right in fact I need to buy a copy because you're going to reference this book again even if you just need a quick laugh your sign as a dog in the park hilarious <laughs> even if you just want a quick laugh you're gonna want to pick this book up again and take a look at it all right so yeah I would definitely reread it absolutely hilarious and like whether you consider yourself someone who is all into the woo-woo stuff whether you're someone who just kind of dabbles like you enjoy yoga and you might enjoy meditation which is often seen as woo-woo or whether you're someone who was like no i am completely rational logical no i get that i'm a lawyer who is also a taurus who was very stubborn and bullheaded and a contrarian but I still was entertained by the book, all right? So consider picking this up and giving it a read. Hilarious, right? It's not even a read. It's really just a series of quizzes, <laughs> all right? So when I'm not being influenced by my star sign, <laughs> I like to make five second decisions to get my life in order, all right? So take a look at this review here. It's about how you can make five second decisions to change your life. Five seconds to think about whether you're gonna pick up the book, five seconds to decide if you're gonna watch the next video. Go now. <laughs> See you in the next video.